They're coming onto the track for tonight's first division of the $225,000 jug preview for three-year-olds. Exact in trifecta wagering. Quick fraction set up for a fast off the pace victory at DuCoin for this three-year-old last time out. He has a mark of 151 and four. Electric Star is owned by Lois and Marshall Field, trained by Chris Boring with Brett Miller in the bike. Closing in on a quarter million dollars in earnings with five wins and 13 starts this season and a mark of 150 and three. Taken at Pocono Downs, the two is Yankee Sensation. He's owned by the White Creek Stable, trained by Ray Paver, and Ray Paver does the driving. A successful two-year-old campaigner, having banked over $125,000 last year with a mark 153 and one at the Meadowlands. Number three is Corey's Gold, owned by the partnership of Goldfarb. Goldfarb and Goldfarb bread pulling trains, and David Miller is up. For his perfect host, owned by Henry and Sally Josefzik, trained by Mark Evers. Mark Evers is the driver. Five is Successful Life, owned by Perfect World Enterprises, trained by Richard Banca, with Walter Case Jr., a four-time winner in 10 starts this year. Coming into the race off, two victories on the Woodbine Entertainment Group circuit, most recently in 152 and one, the Brittany Farms Gold Fever, Ron Pierce for Blair Burgess. And with a very consistent record and a mark of 151 and four at Hoosier Park this season, number seven is Jesse's Trigger, owned by Ish Racing Stable, trained by Don Ish with Wilbur Schwartz. Post time for the ninth in seven minutes. It's on the outside, there they go. And they're off in the first division of the Jug Preview, and Successful Life goes straight to the lead, has no early challengers, and he opens up by two and a half lengths as they enter the turn for the first time. Yankee Sensation will duck into the two-hole, followed by Electric Star in third. It's a length and a half farther back to Corey's Gold. He's followed by Perfect Host, then it's Gold Fever with about eight lengths to make up, and Jesse's Trigger is the early trailer as they move to the top of the stretch, and Ray Paver and Yankee Sensation pull the pocket on Successful Life, who looks to yield as they go by the quarter in a very moderate 28 and 4 passing the stands for the first time and Yankee Sensation is now on the front end. Yankee Sensation, the 4 to 5 favorite, is leading the way by a length and a half. Now tracked by Successful Life in the 2 old two back Electric Star with the rail ride in third. Corey's Gold hugs the pylons in fourth and Gold Pe Fever and Ron Pierce are underway from the back of the pack. They're followed by Perfect Host and Jesse's Trigger picks up live cover as they move around the clubhouse turn to halftime. It's Yankee Sensation reaching that station in 57-1. Very soft pace in here as they round the turn into the back stretch with Yankee Sensation dictating the pace. It's a length and a quarter. Successful Life, a very snug second in the pocket. Electric Star is third. Gold Fever's got his work cut out for him, but he's gradually inching up first over on the rim. Corey's Gold is back to fifth. Jesse's Trigger having trouble catching cover on the outside, and Perfect Host is seventh and last as they go by three quarters. Yankee Sensation leads them there in 125 and one. Midway through the far turn, it's Yankee Sensation by a length and a quarter quarter. Successful Life getting the perfect trip in the pocket, followed by Electric Star. Gold Fever could not go on as the field straightens away. It's Yankee Sensation. Under slight urging, he leads it by two. Successful Life is out for the drive. Here comes Corey's Gold down the inside. Yankee Sensation, Corey's Gold surging up the inside to score in the first division of the Jug Preview. Yankee Sensation went off stride over the line, though finishing second lap down to Electric Star, 152-3. This is number three, Corey's Gold. Covering the mile in 152 and three for a career best. He is a three-year-old son of Jeremy's Gambit. Out of the arts place, Mayor Ruta Lee Hanover, owned by the partnership of Goldfarb. Goldfarb and Goldfarb of New York, trained by Brett Pelling, piloted to victory by former Scioto Downs, leading driver, David Miller. In the winner's circle, helping to make the presentation to the winning connections, Vice President of Scioto Downs, Mrs. Laverne Hill, accompanied by our Director of Racing at Scioto Downs, Jim Muert. with John Pavlock and David Miller.
David, it's almost strange to see all those zeros behind your name in the program for not having won yet here at this meet. You picked a heck of a time to won. You were apparently fourth on the uh, pylons all the way around. Tell us a little about the trip. Uh, they're pretty slow fractions in this uh, division, and that couldn't have made you feel good where you were. No, yeah, it was uh, some real slow fractions there, and uh, yeah, I was uh, not, not liking the spot I was in. Um, I, I didn't know uh, exactly how we'd finish up early on, but uh, when I finally did get room, I mean, he, uh, he had a lot of pace and uh, got up the inside real nice. And uh, at the wire, things just got tight down in the stretch. The judges had to take a look at it, but uh, no change. No, we, uh, we come, come close there. Uh, he came in, I went out, and then got awful tight there, but... Uh, no, not, not enough to do anything. Yeah, not sure whether the Goldfarbs have paid this one into the jug. At least trainer Brett Pelling wasn't sure, but it seems to me they're, they're the kind of owners that do, and Brett has a way of getting them ready here at the end. Did he give you any kind of special instruction during tonight? This horse is winless coming in. Well, yeah, he did tell me. He said that he's uh, been racing real well, um, you know, not to be too aggressive with him, kind of trip him out. And, uh, you know, when I got away where I did, like I said, this, the fractions were so slow, I didn't know exactly what to expect. And uh, he just raced real well. David, he came on very strong in the stretch. Did you do anything to rouse him, pull the earplugs or anything? No, I had to do anything. I showed him the whip once to the, to the top of the stretch, and uh, he paced strong. Congratulations. It's official now. All the Millers have been in the winner's circle tonight. Yep, that's great. David Miller, winner of our first division here today with Corey's Gold surviving an inquiry. And uh, next up, division number two of the Jug Preview.